was on TV and on SNBC, always throwing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> All right, should we do something a little tasty and A there? Tasty and A. Stratocaster versus Telecaster. Yes. I'm here with my good friend, Mr. Frank Freeman. How's it? I saw no shirt, ladies and jeans. For me, a strat is just that that in-between thing. Right? You can do that on a telly, but it's just the strat is a bit more of a defined in-between. I guess it's universally recognized as kind of the most versatile. Um, but when I decided, when I got my first Telecaster, like I got it because I wanted something versatile, but just a little bit more specific as well, because strats are so generally used. Um, and obviously for a reason, they sound great and they work great in a lot of different musical situations. But this does too. I think a lot of people have in their mind like, Maybe that the Tilly cost is like a country guitar or something like that because it has, you know, the bridge pickup twang. You know, it has the Sorry. twang and all these kind of things, and it's known for the whole country thing that people do on it. But if you think, uh, you know, if you pigeonhole the Tilly in that kind of thing, then I think you haven't tried it in, in different musical situations. <laughs> You get the classic crank if you open it up on the bridge pickup, but then you also have a neck pickup, you want to play jazzy thing. You know, you kind of have those things. That's tasty. Um, you can do the whole jazz thing on it, and man, they're durable. They're durable, like, if you're not using it to play, you can row a boat with it. So, yeah. that's my that's my vote for the Telecaster. Oh, well, when I was putting a fuzz and a little bit of a vibe. It felt to do me that. like, you know, when you want to, like, you're going at about, you know, 70, 80 kilometers an hour and you want to go to fifth, but you accidentally go to third. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, that, that, that just. That was